Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the D'Artagnan Mushroom Department. Uh, today, we'd like to show you some of our wild bounty. Uh, currently, it's one of my favorite time in the season as we have several chanterelles to offer. Uh, we begin with our European chanterelle, currently coming from Latvia and Belarus. These are your more typical chanterelle. They develop into a funnel shape as they're fully formed, have that apricot essence. A little bit uh, on the dry side as they have traveled quite a while. We have about two weeks left in this particular season. Moving on, we have the very beginning of our domestic chanterelle season. You could almost think of uh, them as having terroir, as different subspecies of uh, chanterelles in different areas produce slightly different characteristics. As you can see, these are a much darker chanterelle, a uh, meteor. They are also in the beginning stages, so they have almost a mock gill as opposed to a true gill. Uh, these chanterelles will develop and new areas will start. As the crop develops, they'll also get bigger. Hopefully, we'll have domestic chanterelles available until well into December. Uh, moving on, we also have one of my absolute favorites. This is the Saskatchewan chanterelle. Because it grows in moss, it has hardly any dirt to it, is very clean, really cuts down on prep time, and uh, the quality is just gorgeous. Even fully grown like this one, the it doesn't completely open up, so it does retain some of that bouncy, meaty uh, texture to it. It also has more of the apricot nose that the European chanterelle and a classic chanterelle flavor um, that you would expect. Uh, then we have, we're in about our third week of uh, the lobster mushroom season. I personally think it's one of the coolest mushrooms that we eat. What it is is a member of the Russula or Lactarius family that has been attacked by a parasitic fungus, which takes the normally small mushrooms and just amplifies it. Uh, think of the Hulk and you'll have an idea of what I'm talking about. The uh, natural gills have been uh, replaced with uh, mock gills the size of it is just much larger. Uh, these ones right here are a uh, beginning of the season uh, sample. This is a more developed uh, mushroom. Because of that red color and the carotenoids that produces it, I do find it to have a slightly briny, shellfish sort of quality to it. Uh, really great to saute or uh, braise as well. And the season for this should last, I, I would think, well into October, November. 